Marvel could have had Tobey Maguire enter the MCU a lot sooner. <laughs> director of The Incredible Hulk, Louis Latier. He also directed uh, the first Tekken movie. Um, he tried to get uh, Tobey Maguire to do a cameo as Spider-Man in The Incredible Hulk and Sony said no. I'm not sure why and this would have been after Spider-Man 3. This is before Andrew Garfield would have been brought in but uh, Sony for some reasons decided not to go ahead with it. But um, Lewis Latier wanted to bring Tobey Maguire in, and had they have done that at the time, then Tobey Maguire would have been the definitive Spider-Man. We wouldn't have had Andrew Garfield or Tom Holland, and we wouldn't have had <coughs> the amazing Spider-Man No Way Home with all three Spider-Mans together. But that's interesting to think, you know, that we could have had Tobey Maguire enter the MCU a lot sooner. Um, for those who don't know, um, Hugh Jackman was actually meant to appear in Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 1. Uh, he went down to the set and he was meant to get his costume on. But I think it was in a wardrobe or a drawer or, or was a suitcase. But for some reason, it jammed and for the life of them, nobody could get it open. They hadn't even planned what they were going to get Hugh Jackman to do. Whether just say one line or a gag or walk out in front of Peter or Spider-Man, whatever. I don't know. But we also could have had Hugh Jackman in that movie. But yeah, we could have had freaking Hugh Jackman in Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 1. And we could have had Tobey Maguire Spider-Man in Edward Norton's The Incredible Hulk. <laughs> but, you know, that's not to say that, you know, they will never happen. Like, we got Toby in the Marvel eventually. But, um, with the way that Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is going. Hello, freaking Patrick Stewart's Charles Xavier is in the fucking trailer. You know. So that really does open the door. I doubt, like, I, I, I couldn't see Hugh Jackman coming back for a final Wolverine movie. I think he's done with Logan. You know, it, it, um, he retired because of his age and his skin cancer. It's, it's more the fact as he got older, and this does happen to everybody, for him to train and bulk up for the wall, for the wall, for the role of Wolverine, he had to get up even earlier than what you had to do before for the other films and he had to train harder to get his body in shape in time for the role of Wolverine and it was just taking its toll on him mentally and physically so that was one of the reasons why he decided to give up uh, the role and you know give one of the greatest send offs ever but um what was I gonna say at the same time I wouldn't really like you know a cameo I'd say Hugh Jackman I could see Hugh Jackman do a cameo you know I, I, I don't see why he'd say no. I mean, look at the Deadpool movie, he's like, <coughs> he doesn't have a problem, you know, them using his likeness or using photos of him, uh, or them using archive footage, he doesn't have a problem out there. But I'd say, if they asked him to do like a fun cameo and he's on port, I could totally see him doing it. But I'm getting way ahead of myself here. So, honestly, I mean, it would have been interesting to see how that Tobin Brad cameo would have went in the Incredible Hulk, what that would have meant for the future. You know, the MC, how much would that have changed it? You know, could you imagine Tobey Maguire next to Iron Man and Captain America <coughs> and Thor? <laughs> I'm kind of glad that that didn't work out because I like what we already got because we got different incarnations of Spider Man and open up the multiverse, which means that less is more. If that's the right way, if that's the right term to use. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. <laughs>